here and welcome back to new BFF vlogging video. Today I'm going to be doing a basics of the cello video because if you guys do not know I play the cello and I would say that it is quite a hard instrument to learn but it is definitely a very rewarding instrument to learn and I definitely recommend that if you aren't already that you learn a musical instrument. Just to let you guys know that a cello is part of the string section. It's a stringed instrument and this is called the pegs so this is how you can tune the cello at the top here and these are the strings and the strings on the cello are A, D, G and C. And the cello is an octave lower than a violin and a half an octave lower than a viola and an octave higher than the double bass. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips for if you want to learn a musical instrument and what to expect when you are going to be learning a musical instrument. So let's get started. So the first thing that you guys need to know is that when you start it might be a bit boring because you have to learn the basics first. So for example, on the cello, you first you do not learn the bow. With the bow, this is what a bow looks like. This is what you use for playing the cello with normally. So when you start playing a string instrument, you usually do not start with the bow. So you just play with your finger. For example, on the cello, you put your thumb there and then whatever string you want to play, you pluck using that string. Because maybe a few months after you start learning your instrument, you will start with the bow, as the bow does take a while to get used to. This means also that if you are learning the piano, that you will probably only learn one hand first. On the cello, you play bass clef which is also known as, most regularly, the left hand on a piano. So this, the cello basically plays the bass notes. The violin is in treble clef, so that would be what would normally play the right hand on the piano. So when you do start the cello, or in fact for this one, any instrument, you will be introduced to the stave. The stave is five lines, and normally these will be filled with music. So on the cello, a is the top string. That's the highest string and it's on the left, the furthest string on the left. And it sounds like this. That is how you know that you're playing an A. So when you do play A and you want to read it in music, you would want to read it up here. This is where A is, and it's in the middle of this line. It is the top line, but after that, it does get a bit more complicated. So I won't go into that just now, but I might do this in a future video. Then D is the next string on the cello, and D sounds like this. It's the string directly next to A, and it's this string right here. And D is for the middle of the stave. So that is in the third line and it's for the third line on the stave. The next string is G. G is this string right here. So because G is a bit lower than D, it goes on the bottom line, and I will get into C soon. So that is what a G looks like in bass clef. So if you do see that, then that is what a G looks like. So you could be like, well, that's a G. And the final string is C. C is this string right here. And C, when you play it, C needs some room. 
So when you play C, you have to go two spaces below, and it's that one right there. And that is what a C looks like in bass clef. So the number four is practice. So if you are play, practicing an, a musical instrument, then you do need to practice. Practice makes perfect. So if you don't practice, then how are you going to get better? So for example, if you do not practice, then you might fall behind if there is other people in your class. So practicing, it only normally takes about 10 to 20 minutes a day. And just practice what your teacher has assigned you or if you don't have a teacher, what you have been learning so far in your instrument. And number five is have fun. Because if you aren't having fun learning your instrument, then why are you doing it? So I have a piece for if you are beginning out in a cello, I will be playing this piece with the bow to project more sound, but you guys should pluck, or if you do know how to use the bow, then you should use the bow. So this will get your eyes ready for reading music. If you have cello time joggers, and this piece is in cello time joggers, it's called Down Up. So it begins with A four times. Then it goes on to D. Then it goes on to G. And then it goes back to C. And then you go C. called Adante. So if you keep practicing hard at cello then you will succeed and I really hope that I have inspired you guys to learn an instrument today. Please make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next week.